Okay, so there is a woman on TikTok. I know, crazy. Um, and she's going kind of viral because she lives in Spain and she has children. And she has been discussing the differences between raising a child in a country like Spain and raising a child in a country like the United States. And there's a number of differences I'm not even talking about, nor is she talking about universal uh, pre-K. I have uh, friends with kids in Spain now currently, and they are, I think two of them are in a free um, pre-K program, daycare effect effectively, before they actually start preschool. Um, and that is not the case here at all. Uh, and then, of course, paid family leave being guaranteed there. This is not even about the social safety net. This is about something cultural. And y'all know I have a six-month-old baby uh, who's attempting to sleep in the other room. Hopefully she's down. Um, and, you know, this is this is mom, Francesca. If you're like, I feel like she's been slipping. I am slipping, okay? I'm losing my goddamn mind, okay? But one of the things that this mom was talking about is that in other countries, there is so much more of an interface and an overlap between adult-friendly activities and children-friendly activities. And I'm feeling that so hard because when they start to get a little bit more alert, they're six months, 10 months, a year, you want to go out and do stuff with them, you know? And yet you also want to not be bored to effing tears. You know, you want to not like, you know, just go down the same slide 50 times. That's fine. Look, slides are great, but they're often like in unshaded, scraggy grass, you know, like sad little dumpy parks next to highways. You know what I'm saying? Like, and generally there's not a lot of things for parents to do like have a coffee have a beer get together you know sit at a table like there's just not a lot of publicly available or even privately av available amenities and in instead kids which by the way again once again reminder we were all babies once kids are very much like scorned and like it's we're in a country of now forced birthing and yet when you have a kid, everyone's like, ew, you're disgusting. You know, I'm sure you guys saw this week a man forced a plane to land preemptively because a baby was crying on the plane and he couldn't hang. And that's just like, you know, it's like, I'm sorry that babies are a reality, but, you know, humans got to come from somewhere. Like I said, you weren't dumped into those skinny jeans at age 28 um, saying ew to everybody else. Like, no, you had to be a disgusting little vomity baby. and. So get a load of, this is, uh, I believe her name is, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. I forgot what her name is. I'll tell you in a second. But here she is um, talking about uh, Anna Gildersleeve, I guess is her, her handle on TikTok. And here she is showing and talking about the ways that in Spain, there are plazas and places that are both meant for adults and children to have a good time living in the U.S. and this is one of the I'm from Spain living in the U.S. and this is one of the things that I miss the most about Spain. Outdoor cafes and bars attached to playgrounds. In my opinion, this is awesome because parents can socialize, have fun, even have a drink or two while the kids are playing. Here are my friends back home having a drink while the kids are playing. I talked about this in one of my videos and many people didn't believe me, so let me show you. You have the playground here and then on this side there are many parents sitting at the tables having a beer. Okay, same playground, different view. You have here the parents socializing, having a beer and then the kids are just playing, you know, playing soccer on this side, just having fun. So again, here are the parents and here's the playground. Now let's analyze this picture. This is where the bar is. It mm. says bar cerveceria. So they cross the street and they bring you the drinks, the Stop. food, whatever you want. This person is drinking a beer, now water. And I feel like this is unthinkable in the US. Beers everywhere. Having a beer or two is part of our daily life. It doesn't mean that you're getting drunk. So yes, it's normal to have a drink or two in front of your kids. Yeah, exactly. In fact, that's arguably the only way you can deal with having kids and the mind-numbingly boring world that it is, again, to, you know, watch them throw a ball poorly for 25 times. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got to have a beer and socialize with your friends. So that was the, okay, a couple things there. One, no cafe is going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go bring a beer to you in the plaza. No, they're not going to do that. Secondly, try to like brown bag it next time you're at a playground with a bunch of strangers and like you're just sipping on a beer the scorn the looks 
you need if you need if you want to do that, you need a little bit of of a friend buffer, I think, to do that on mass. But a lot of places it's like drinking in parks is prohibited. Drinking on the beach on the beach is prohibited in a lot of places. Um, you know, and maybe that's just uh, me in California. You know, maybe you need a little bit more Florida. It's the only time I will ever say that uh, in my life. But like it's. I also just need a little bit more Spain. And again, I've been flirting and talking about wanting to move, but I'm I'm probably not going to. I think I'm going to, you know, you know, probably just stick it out in the middle of a forest fire in my beloved California and be just go down with the ship, you know what I'm saying? Um but yes, that level and like having lived outside of the US, the informality between people when you make plans here in this country, we're always like, oh yeah, let's hang out in three weeks for 15 minutes. It's just, it's so anti, we're anti-social. It's anti-human. It's not fun. And I just want to, yes, normalize places that are like, ooh, there's the playground, there's the slide, and there's the, you know, slide of vodka down a, uh, you know, whatever that is, like a, an ice luge right into mama's mouth. Is that so much to ask people? In addition to all the other stuff, paid family leave, universal pre-K. Okay, you get it, you get it. All right, with that, uh, let me bring in for the rest of the show, cultural critic and NBA analyst with The Ringer and contributor to the Young Turks, Wazi Lambre. <laughs> What's up, Francesca? <laughs> uh, that, that segment brought me so much joy. Uh, one... <laughs> Because uh, Barcelona, one of my favorite cities in the world, uh, in in Spain, yeah, and um, it's it's rare to hear parents speak frankly about parenthood, um, yeah. And so it's a breath of fresh air for, <laughs> to hear you say, "Hey, man, if we could do some keg stands at the playground, seriously, <laughs> it hurt it up." <laughs> What's going on, Fran Tifa? If you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it. 